So we just wanted to do a real quick update video for you guys um, on the white tiger clutch. I've been promising you guys we're going to do an update video for you. That's why we got to go from, from this basement to a building, guys. So I, I have them broken down into five groups. Okay. Then that just makes them bite, but it makes them uncomfortable. It makes them feel like you're a predator. So naturally, that is going to make these dragons lighter. So this would be an example of a hypo white leather tiger. All three of these, I believe, are, are listed on our website right now. You want to grab one, but yeah, pick that one. There you go. Remember, when you're grabbing them, you don't want to really grab them. You want to come from under them. One of the prettiest dragons out of the clutch. Been keeping a close eye on it. Um, Pagonas. What's going on world? You know who it is, Dave McClain, co-owner and CEO here at Lizard of Oz LLC. And Demi Pagona Princess. Demi Cherie, the Pagona Princess, my lovely assistant. Alright, so we just wanted to do a real quick update video for you guys um, on the White Tiger Clutch. I've been promising you guys we're going to do an update video for you um, on that clutch. I have a, have a lot of interest in that clutch. I actually sold a few of those babies and I have some of them posted on the uh, website right now, www thelizardofoz.net Ruthless with the plug Alright, uh, so you can go on the website and check that out if you guys are interested in grabbing some of those babies. I'll be adding more of those babies to the website over the next few days. Um, but like I said, just wanted to show them to you guys. Like I said, I have a lot of interest in them. So I just want to show you what they're looking like. We just got finished uh, cleaning their enclosures, me and Demi, and uh, we had them soaking. So we have them in the water now. We'll show you them while they're in the water and then we'll also show you them once we put them back in their enclosures. In the enclosures, the lighting kind of changes because of the UV lighting and the heat light, the incandescent light. So I, I get the best lighting in the uh, uh, bathroom slash uh, soak room or uh, the room where we soak everything, soak all the dragons and stuff. So anyway, that's why we got to go from, from this basement to a building, guys, so I can have an official washroom with a utility sink and et cetera, so forth and so on. Uh, but in the meantime, in the between time, we're making it work the way we got to, all right? So like I said, let's just go ahead and jump in and show you guys these babies. Okay, so like I said, I got the uh, dragon soaking in these tubs here. Um, I'm sorry for doing that stuff without you. Uh, what, cleaning? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't uh, show you guys us cleaning the enclosures. I didn't think about it until after I was already done cleaning and then Demi reminded me that we should be doing a video. So as she said, uh, we're sorry that we didn't show you guys that part, but uh, nonetheless, we are doing the video now. Um, like I said, we have these guys soaking in tubs. I have the lids on these tubs because at this size, these guys are uh, pretty big. So they can jump out of these tubs. I, I can use bigger tubs, but it's just easier for me to have these smaller tubs so I can get more tubs on my table. Okay. I have them broken down into five groups. Okay. And uh, this first group right here is just two normal scales. They were growing a little slower than the rest of the baby, so I separated them two. Uh, and put them put these two together uh, now initially when I uh, separate my dragons I generally separate them by what they are genetically because they all pretty much start off at the same size in some cases that you know that might not be the case but for the most part most of the dragons in a clutch will generally hatch out the same size so I'll just separate them based on what they are genetically it can also be based on you know how many of what I have because I want to try to keep the groups uh, remotely small if I can because the smaller the groups the better the uh, growth rate is on the dragons uh, dragons like most reptiles uh, thrive on their own you want to hold that one I'm going to tell you about when you hold it it's not how you hold it yes you don't squeeze them hold them over the water then that just makes them bite, but it makes them uncomfortable. It makes them feel like you're a predator. 
And we'll talk about handling your dragon, taming your dragon in another video, guys. Been working on Demi a lot with handling the smaller dragons. Um, you know, trying to get her acquainted with handling the smaller dragons, teaching her to be gentle. I mean, she's pretty gentle for the most part, but she's still a little rough on grabbing them. It's, it's, it's somewhat because she's scared they're going to run away, like this guy is trying to. Okay? But these first two are normal scale white tigers. Move your hand out the way so they can see it, baby. No, put your, put the, no, take your hand off the top so they can see it. Stop petting it. Stop petting it. There you go. They want to see it in the camera. Okay? So these two right here are normal scale white tigers. Uh, as you can see, the tiger barring, if you're wondering what makes them tigers, is that barring that goes from the middle all the way to the end. All right. Um, yeah, these are these are what they look like. Normal scale white tigers, they're 100% het hypo. Okay, now as these guys continue to grow and get older, uh, the barring will become lighter and they will become whiter. All right. Um, I'll uh, post some pictures of some uh, white tiger normal scales uh, that we have grown up in the past. So, yeah. Anyway, these guys are anxious to get out of the water. Yeah, I Alright, so moving on to the next group. Who we have here. Okay. So, alright, so this next group right here are uh, white leather tigers. Okay, we have some hypos and we have some het hypos. Alright, the hypos will be the lighter ones in the group. As I've told you guys before, the hypogene is hypomelanism, which causes a, lock, a lack of dark pigmentation. So naturally, that is going to make these dragons lighter. So this would be an example of a hypo white leather tiger. This would be another example. And like I said, you, you can see these guys are big enough. And this is one of my favorites right here. You want to hold this one, but what? i tell you. Just, there you go. Just hold it. You don't want to squeeze it. You don't want to make it feel trapped. You don't want to make it feel like you're a predator. You just want to make it feel nice and comfortable. I feel like uh, somebody nice. Yeah, you want to make it feel like it's in the hands of somebody nice. Okay, go ahead and pet it a little bit with your thumb. Okay, and this helps tame them down. We try to handle them as much as we can when they're this size and as they're growing up before they go to their new homes. So that way they're, you know, a little bit socialized when they get to their new homes and it makes it easier for their new owner. Okay, now this guy right here in my hand would be an example of a white leather tiger het hypo, non-hypo now. We'll hold these two next to each other, and as you can see, the difference that hypo gene makes. Whiter in the head, whiter throughout the body, and even the tiger barring is lighter, okay? Now that leather back, that is referring to reduced scalation, okay? And as Demi stated earlier, it causes the dragons to be what, boo? A leather tiger? No, but it causes them to be smoother, right? Smoother. Yeah, the leather backs are smoother. Hold it in the camera so they can see it. Okay? So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and put them back in the water and go on to the next group. Yeah, he's trying to show the first, the fourth, put them back in the pangs. Okay. And now, these uh, three right here, these are all, all three of these, I believe, are, are listed on our website right now. You want to grab one, bud? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, pick that one up. There you go. Remember, when you're grabbing them, you don't want to really grab them. You want to come from under them at the front, right? So they can see you with your hand like this. And then just kind of scoop them up into your hands like that. And then you just want to... Yeah, you got it right. And then just gently pet them. So this way they can get used to your touch and get used to human interaction and become more sociable. Now, as you can see, this group right here, I, like I said, I have them, I believe, all three of these posted on the site. And I actually took them to a convention recently uh, where I sold one of them. But uh, as you can see, these three are very calm because they've had a lot of work as far as being handled, as far as being at the conventions and me just handling them personally. Um, but like I said, I've been putting in more work with the others to get them uh, a little more sociable before we get them posted up and available for, uh, you know, their forever homes. But in my hand here, I have another normal scale, okay? And the barring on this one is very sporadic. I, I wouldn't even so much call this one a tiger, even though the barring goes from the the uh, middle to the end. The barring isn't as definite and uh, as defined as the uh, leather the tiger that Demi has in her hand. Hold, open your hand up a little bit, boo. There you go. Bring your hand over some so we can see it in the camera a little better. <laughs> Bless you. Bring your hand over a little bit. Closer and to daddy's. There you go. And you see they're a little different from their skin color? Mm-hmm. Now, does the one in your hand, how does it feel? 
smooth. Wanna hold this one in the other hand? Wanna hold this one in your other hand? You got it. Very good. It hold okay, now, hold them both on the camera. Hold them both over here. There you go. Now, how does the one in this hand feel? Smooth like this one. Does this one feel smooth or does this one feel smooth? This one feels really active smooth and this one feels smooth. Which one feels smoother? This one. Which one? This one, right here. The one in this hand? Yeah. Okay, and this one feels a little bumpier? It's so bumpy. Yeah, it's, it's bumpy, a little bumpy because this is a normal scale. So your normal scale is referring to normal scalation. Hold that over, boo, so we can see it in the camera. Very good. The normal scale is referring to normal scalation, okay? So it has a bumpier or rougher texture like a normal bearded dragon, okay? And then the leather bag that you see in Demi's hand is referring to reduced scalation, which is going to make it a little smoother to the touch, okay? And their bones are different. Now, in the white tiger line, what I've noticed is that the leather back makes the white a little whiter. And it really adds a very refined and classic look. I don't know if classic is the word I want to use, but a very uh, distinct look to the uh, tiger line. I really love the leather in the white tiger line, okay? So, you know, the, our most popular ones are the white leather tigers, all right? And this is definitely a white leather tiger. See that barn going from the middle all the way to the end there? And their eyes are kind of different. You know you get a look at their faces. And the camera and the face. Oh, I got it. Yeah, of course. Okay, and for the most part, genetically, besides the... Uh, the line and the line is referring to the lineage as far as these being line bred to produce a certain color phase. These guys are, are pretty much normal bearded dragons, except for the leatherbacks carrying that leather gene. But this is pretty much a normal bearded dragon. This is a normal scale. It's het hypo, so it's carrying the gene. But for the most part, this is a normal bearded dragon. This this isn't something that you can see visually. Okay. Okay. Now let's move on to our last two bins. I'm just gonna pull these guys up here. Now, these two were the two aggressors in my clutch, okay? This is actually one of the most prettiest, one of the prettiest dragons out of the clutch. Beautiful white, uh, and I don't even want to call this tiger because the barring really fades off at the end. The white hypo leatherback, and as you can see, she has a little nick on her face. Hold on, boo. She has a little nick on her face. And it might look bad now, but it's really nothing, uh, nothing serious. It'll actually go away after a few shades, okay? But she's a white hypo leatherback, and she got this nick on her face from fighting over a rope. Uh, one of her uh, tub mates was eating a rope, and she decided she wanted to go up to him and grab the rope out of his mouth. They began to fight over the roach, even though there was a whole bowl of roaches. So long story short, I had to separate her with this little guy right here. And ironically, hey, you can hold that one. Now, as you can see, they both calm down when they're sitting in your hand. I've been working with these two a lot to kind of tame them down a little bit because, like I said, these were our two aggressors. But this guy, he caught a nip. From what? He caught a nip from one of his clutch mates. Um, and it's healing up pretty well. Been keeping a close eye on it. Um, I put Neosporin on it after every soak. Okay, so he'll be getting Neosporin on this shortly. And, uh, but he... 
he is still a very aggressive dragon. Okay? Uh, I'm not going to say very aggressive, but he's very food aggressive. Okay? He's actually the one who nicked up her face. This is the, the dragon that she decided to take a road from. He wasn't having it. And uh, he got his tail nipped from her. Okay? But like I said, I keep these two separate. They're actually housed together. But they've actually they've actually gotten along pretty well. And you can see the nip on her face. Yes, baby. But they get along pretty well now that I have them isolated to just them two in a in a tub. Okay, so I'm gonna put the top back on those guys. And then another guy. And last but not least, we have one more tub for you guys. And like I said, this is all the same clutch. This is just how I have them separated so that they can grow up a little faster. Now these guys are all hypos, I believe, except for one, I think. Let me check. I think this guy, nope, yep, these are all hypos, okay? So in this bin, I have three hypo normal scales, okay? This guy being the, the only real tiger out of the group. And then I have this uh, hypo tiger leatherback. And this is definitely a tiger. She's actually going in the shed, so it's making, I mean, he's actually going in the shed, so it's making him look a little lighter than he actually is. Um, a lot of my uh, first time bearded dragon owners, when they buy a dragon, when the dragon goes in the shed, they'll message me like, Something's wrong with my dragon! He's turning gray! I think, I think he's sick! I'm like, no, he's just shedding. That means he's growing, it means you're doing a good job, okay? But these guys are all very docile. Um, they actually went to the last convention as well. And um, the conventions really help the dragons as far as becoming more social because at the conventions, a lot of the uh, people like to uh, handle the dragons. I don't let people handle my dragons too much, but I will give them hand sanitizer and let them pet them or pick them up for, for a few moments. And this just helps to break the dragons in and get them used to human interaction. Okay, but as you can see, this clutch is developing quite nicely, okay? And aside from those two nips, I don't really have any problems with tail nips. I don't really problem, have no problems with the... I mean, aside from those two dragons, I don't have any problems with tail nips or uh, scratches or aggressive dragons. They're all a little food aggressive, but I mean that's that's actually a good thing because I know they're hungry. I know they're they're going to eat and grow. Can I one? Yes, baby, go ahead. Um, what I tell you about picking them up? That's not how you pick them up. Okay, when you pick them up, remember you coming from the front and going under them and lifting them up like that. There you go. Good job. And you can see you got this blue marking. And what's the blue marking mean? It's a what? Get your hands out your mouth. You know better. Uh, a dragon? It's a what? A woman? No, it means it's a male. A male? Um, it's a gender indicator. It's a gender indicator. The boys get blue marks. And the girls get pink marks. Very good, very good. And this one is a boy too. Yes, very good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get these guys back into their uh, enclosures, into their tubs. And uh, into their tanks, etc. Um, and we'll, we'll show you a quick little vid video footage of them in their enclosures. All right, so we got everybody back in their enclosures. They're gonna take a little bit of time to warm up. I'll probably put some food in there. And they probably won't eat it anytime soon because they're gonna at least need at least 30 minutes, I'd say, to warm up before they even think about eating. Searching for a longer day. Okay. Look at my two little slow growers. We must never stop the way. Don't worry, we'll get you nice and fit. Yeah, we like to get them nice and fat. Life is happy, but it's so insane. We want to grow them up. We must merely make a start. Yeah, it is. You've been eating all day. That's right. I'm Papa Bear. Yeah, like, I really like this one. I'm probably going to keep in this one for myself. There's a lot of beauties in this in this book.
Alright. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace, love, for Gonas. Uh, what, what, what after? What do you mean? What after the peace, love, for Gonas? What do you mean, what after peace, love, for Gonas? There is no after peace, love, for Gonas. It's just peace, what, love, for Gonas. What, with the plug. Oh, with the... Ruthless with the plug! plug. But we didn't plug anything. So we gotta plug something. Make sure you uh, check all the links in the description. Visit our online store, www.thelizardofoz.net. I don't know if I put them in W just now. www.thelizardofoz.net. All right. This is Dave McLean signing out with my lovely assistant, Demi Cherie, the Pagona Princess. Peace, love, Pagonas. We'll see you next video, guys.